Yo. What's going on, man? Oh, shit. Let everybody know who I got in the building today, oh, man. Oh, man, man. You, you see, you see, I got it on the shirt. <laughs> you know who you got in the fucking building, man. P2, Young Prem. Uh-huh. Yeah, we here, man. Mel TV. Oh, uh, you know that. You know the facts. Yeah, bro. Um, Let's get right into it, man. You know, your father, you know. Queen's legend, man. You yes, know sir. What I'm that's that's him to the T. Right, right, right. How well, you know y'all stay in contact? You still in contact with your pops and shit like um, that? Um, yeah, we 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 stay in contact. You know, he send a kite out to me every now and again. Uh, whenever I get to talk to him, we definitely have like an in depth conversation. But you know, he handling what he handling, he, what he got going on. He trying to get back in court and shit like. Right. So basically, like that, you know. But we we speak like through the universe type shit. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So even if I'm not talking to him, I'm talking to him. You feel me? That's how that's how me and his dynamic is. It's not like the regular normal father and son relationship. But you know, we speak through the universe. Nah, of course I feel you. But um, all right. So you know, all everybody that know that knows from you know certain areas. You know, you said I'm 50 cent age or something. You trying to say? <laughs> You know, yeah, nigga, like, oh, you know, I'm like almost forty and all yeah, that. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Know, I'm only twenty four, so. Nah, but listen, yeah. um, so you see that, at, um, from that time, it seemed like you know, you know, those of us that know, you know, supposedly your pops and Prem had a little, um, uh, Prem and um, Fifty had a little something, something or whatever. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, they seen you a picture. They seen you in a pic though with Fifty Sun and shit yeah. like that. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Yeah. How's y'all relationship? Um, we don't really got no relationship. Me and Marquis don't got no relationship like that. Like, I just happened to see him in the spot. Mm -hmm. And you feel me? Like, we were introduced to each other. We took the pic. We said, like, a few words after that. It was one, two, boom, boom, boom. And then it was, like, you know, it was over after. Like, we ain't really have no relationship prior or after. We just was in the moment type shit. But that pic was so colossal. So when the person that introduced us and got us together, like, he knew what he was doing. Like, it was my man. Like, he like, yo, Marquise, come over here. I got it. La, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. He didn't tell us specifically right then and there. Like, yo, that's Prem's son. That's, like, I didn't even know who boy was. You feel me? Like, right. I'm in the spot. I was in a party. Like, I'm drunk. He drunk. So, we just took the pic. And it was that. And then after it was the after effect and how it blew up and was, like, worldwide and everything like that. And it did what it did. But I didn't even know at that current time when we took the picture who that was, really. Oh, oh so wait a minute. So, you saying when you took the picture with 50 Cent's son? You didn't even know that it was 50 Bro, I'm telling you, it was, we was in a dark club. You see how people drunk. made it look like, Yo, you know, crazy. like, um, since, it was crazy. He, since his son was mad at him, <coughs> his son, you know, did a yeah. picture with niggas people that don't gonna, fuck with him, son. People people always going to just take <laughs> whatever they could take and just try to spin it to make it feel or make it fit whatever they wanted to fit in the narrative they wanted it to be. But right. that's life, though. We, I mean, we just got to roll with the punches. It's like, that's life. That's regular shit. Right. Know? All right. So, you know, um, it's a good answer. So, you know, your pops is a legend out here. And, um... It was set up to where, like, you know, did you ever have to go through any type of street shit? Like, you know, because you probably grew up, you know, where your pops had bread and stuff like that. Yeah. Did you ever have to go through that type of... Well, let me, know? let me, well, let me stop you right there and correct, correct that statement. Mm -hmm. Um, Like, by the time I was coming up and I was outside and everything, like, all that was gone. Like, all the money... Okay, everything. your pops was already booked by yeah, that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all that right. shit, yeah. I came outside probably when I was, like, 12, 13. Right. Black Just Son. Deshaun brought me outside. My pops called him, like, yo, go get that little nigga, like... I don't want him up under his mother or the rest of his life so him to act like a female it's like that you know feminine tendencies or whatever so he got black just on to come get me out the crib and then you know i was running around with him for a little while but my mother kind of she kind of tried to shield me from like all of the all of the noise and all of the politics and all of that shit. Right. like i went to school in manhattan my whole entire life right like my like my stepbrother right here like he know like about my whole life and shit like that like i never really was in queens like that i never went to school in queen i never really hung out up until high school when Black Just Son came and got me out the house, that's when I really started like moving around and shaking and baking the queen and shit like that. And people mm -hmm. started familiar, familiarizing themselves with who I was because I was running around with Black Just Son. So everybody kind of put two and two together, you feel me? Right, right. Nah, I feel you. I feel you. All right, nah, so all right. How do queen, do, do, do queens fuck with you? Like, you know what I'm saying? What? <laughs> queens, nigga, I'm Queens, bro. Okay, like, okay, okay. I'm like, look at look at my face, like, bro. Right. Like, I'm really Queens, bro. Right, like, right, of course, right, right, everybody right. fucking me, everybody show love, like, uh -huh. bro. That shit is second nature, bro. Why wouldn't they? Like, I'm the big homie son. Why wouldn't they? Like, right. Okay. Even the niggas that you would think be hating on me, or a nigga that might be like throwing salt, or in, like even Prodigy. Prodigy and my father had words. Prodigy put a lot of shit about my pops in his book. And when I was introduced to Prodigy, like, it was all love. Like, God rest the day, you know? Like, mm -hmm. just using him for an example or him, like, a little, you know, 
it was all love. Like everybody that had a certain issue with my dad, it was never they. I never felt that. Like young niggas always fuck with me because I'm I'm just a good genuine nigga, fly nigga, fuck with the bitches, you know, pretty boy type shit. Like I never was on no really on those. I never wanted to be like no super duper killer, no gang begging gangster. I never really wanted to do none of that. I just wanted to be a cool nigga that got fly and got money. That's all my goal ever was. So you know. But yeah, but to answer your question, everybody fuck with me, bro. I'm that nigga, bro. Okay. So, like, you know, because of, like, you know, your pop's reputation and stuff like that, mm -hmm. you know, that stopped a lot of people, you think, from trying to come at you. Like, you was able to, you know, you was able to flourish as a teen and all that without having to, about, you know, too many, you know what I mean? Too many physical problems. Yeah, I much. never really got into nothing like that, bro. Right, like, right, right. I never really, like, I played baseball in high school for mm -hmm. my high school in the city for Rice and for Cardinal Hayes. Like, I was playing, I was in a sports, like, I probably got into three fights, three or four fights in my life. Like, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I just know how to move. You feel me? Like right. being around all the older niggas, my, my pops' friends, or just older niggas in general. Like, I don't, I never really wanted to chill around niggas my age because I felt like, not to sound, not to be on no cocky shit, but I always felt like I was more, I was ahead of them. Like I was mentally ahead of them because right. I was always around the older niggas. So, and I want to learn. I want to be a sponge and soak up all the game I can get from the older niggas. So I never really wanted to be around young niggas. So that's really. That, that also probably played a major role in why I never really got into a whole bunch of shit because when you running with young niggas, you're going to get into a whole bunch of shit. But when you with the old niggas, the old niggas is already 24, 20, 30 years removed from getting into their bullshit. They just coming home or they already had their they, they incidents, so they don't want to backtrack. So I felt like me being around that was great energy. Yeah, of course, of course. So that basically, you know, kept <coughs> you on the right path because them people already got to experience that. So, right. they, you know what I mean? That's good. That's real good. Yo, all right, so um, how you feel about the Queens music scene? You rap or anything like that? Nah, I don't rap, but you feel me? I fuck with a lot of niggas that be rapping and shit. I feel like Queens, I feel like 2020 is going to be a major, major, major year for Queens. Like, mm -hmm. we got to turn up because right now, Brooklyn and the Bronx, they be they had shit on lock maybe the past five or six years, I feel like. Yeah, my cousin, you know, my cousin, oh, Brooklyn? You Brownsville, Brooklyn. Okay, that's a fact. Flat yeah, that's, that's man. My, that's my blood cousin, like my first cousin and shit. Oh, now yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, he jacked Brooklyn. He can jack over whatever he want to jack on that side. <laughs> I'm from Southside. <laughs> nigga, I'm from Southside Jamaica, Queens. Nigga. We, yeah, Queens. North, I fuck with the niggas from the north side. I fuck with niggas from Shadyville. Uh -huh. Fuck with my left rack niggas. I fuck with my Queensbridge niggas. Fuck with man. I'm Queen. I represent Queens, bro. And and we and we definitely we definitely going impact. 2020 is gonna be our year, man. For real, 2020 is definitely gonna be our year. Now, there's a lot of niggas to look out for in 2020. That's a fact. Yo, all right, so boom. You know, so you saying Queens about to, you know, about to have their time to shine again and all that in the rap community and all that. Mm -hmm. Who who you listen to from Queens? Who you fuck like with? underground or like what any you mean? period? Like you know, um, you know, like modern. We ain't gotta go back in the days. You like, were looking you know? like like current. Yeah. <laughs> um, fucking my nigga Slay Band, Ray Bam. My nigga Rico Denner just came home. He just did five years. You know, he just, he just, he just did like five years. He just came home. Uh, my nigga Horse Gotti. My nigga Northside Six. Uh, my nigga TG Fly. My nigga Super Cool Q. From Basie, from Basie, from my hood, from Basie. The lot of niggas, I fuck with the softer niggas. I fuck with Luga Cash, Trav, MBB. Like all, and, and you know, so crazy being that I told you, like I'm really from Queens, like, Everybody I'm naming, like, I got a personal relationship with every last one of them. Like, it's not even on no, oh, I just heard about that nigga, or I just know. Nah, I really got a personal relationship with everybody that's... If you somebody in Queens, like, we got a relationship because my family is, like, deep-rooted, like, yeah. throughout Queens. Like, not even just, not even just, like, due to my pops, like, my uncle and, like, man, it's crazy. Like, I'm just really deep-rooted all around Queens, all the way around the whole circle. So, like, mm. I got a relationship with all the rappers that's upcoming, that's lit already. Like, I really know them personally. Yeah, <clears throat> no, it's a fact, bro. Now that's what's up. So, like, yo, you know, what what, what are you trying to do? What, like, what, you know, what you do now? You you say you don't rap. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I'm, I, I'm, I mean, 2020, I'm I'm doing my clothing line. You know, got the Supreme Team merch. Mm -hmm. Um, me and my me and my brothers, me and my my friends, we doing like a docu series. Uh, me, Fadeback, Dementio, Black Just Sons, his daughters. We doing like a growing up. You know, not the culture. We just having dinner up in this um last yeah, July. Yeah, yeah, we in July. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, wait. <coughs> who we was with? We was with Dimensio. Uh huh. Dimensio son. We was with Fayback, Farris son. We was with Black Just son. We and, and myself. Right. And we right. just, you know, we was like, you know, just politicking. You How know? did all y'all get together? Like, like y'all been knew each, each other. other and shit yeah, like we knew that each other. Like, yeah, we knew. But all of them is older than me. Like they already had their relationship. And you know. <clears throat> Black Justin is the one that brought me outside. So when he brought me outside, like I knew all his niggas, and you know we just 
I'm like the little brother out of all of them. Right. I'm the big homie, but I'm the little brother though. Nah, at the same I understand time, what so you're saying. Nah, well, for real, for and real. And then you know, my my brother, your school, pull up school. My brother, my brother right here. We doing the podcast. He got the podcast, the Church on the Hill podcast and shit yeah. like that. Tell him something about the shit. Church on the Hill podcast on everything, iTunes, Apple Podcasts. What's the name of Church on the Hill? Yeah. Church on the Hill podcast. All right, all right. We y'all, um, what, what's what's y'all topics and stuff? What y'all do with? It's put it like this: If you standing on the block, you outside with your niggas. Y'all niggas just talking shit. Yo, how you feel about how you feel about fat bitches that can cook? We talk about fat <laughs> bitches that cook. Right, we right. talk about anything. Right, feel me? right. So, it's, it's shit is hilarious. We talk about real shit, niggas telling. Bunch of shit, feel right, me? Just right. tune in. I promise you, entertainment. Yeah, Hello. Cool, cool. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You know I fuck with my uptown niggas. I went to school in Rice, so like, a lot of niggas be saying that I'm a Harlem nigga on the low, but you know, mm -hmm. I jack my shit to the fullest. Definitely yeah. Southside Jamaica, Queens, but I went, I've been to school in Harlem. My niggas is Harlem. Where I'm, I'm, I'm just loved throughout New York, bro. I get... I get unlimited love, bro. Like, everybody fuck with me. Everybody love me, bro. The OGs, the young niggas, the bitches. Like, niggas just genuinely fuck with me. I'm a good you, vibe. I'm good you to have, be around. Um, you know, um, you said y'all making a, what, a documentary? It's a docu-series. Like, it's okay. basically about... It's basically, like, the same concept of growing up hip-hop. Uh -huh. But it's, it's growing up kingpins, basically. Like, you know, the it's not so much based on our dad's life. It's, it's more so based on... Like our trials and tribulations, and you know, some people that's a part of the cast, they dealt with their their, 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 their the untimely deaths of their dads. Like black black just son, black just was was taken from us. You know, in the nineties, the Mencio dad was was taken from us, and then you know, our dad, the rest of the cast, our dads are in jail for serving a thirty year plus sentence. Some got life, so it's just about the kids, and you know how we dealt with a lot of a lot of the turmoil, how we dealt with a lot of you know the bullshit that that, that entails of being a kingpin's son or a daughter so that's basically what it is it's just based around the kid really it's not so much based off the dad right when um when y'all planning on starting the film shit we probably gonna start filming that shit maybe in the summertime okay yeah probably start filming that shit maybe in the summertime okay yeah that sounds like you know that sounds like a good plan bro there's something yeah. different and I, i'm sure people will definitely tune in to that shit that's a fact you know? i mean i feel like shit but the all the bullshit that's on tv right now I feel like we're gonna be the number one shit. Yeah. We're gonna have a docu-series, we're gonna be on a TV show, we're gonna be on all that shit. Like, mm -hmm. like, 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 niggas fuck with the streets heavy and niggas wanna know the backstories and people wanna know, like, what's going on and everybody wants to know about the kids. Like, why wouldn't they? Right. If they so infatuated and so enamored by our dads, so right. that's gonna naturally gravitate them towards the show. And then us being young and us doing what we're doing, we know everybody's doing legit businesses, everybody got their own businesses, so that's just gonna bring. We gonna have the young dynamic and we gonna have the old dynamic. And with that, those two dynamics, a fusion of those, you're not gonna never lose. You're right. never gonna lose like that. And that's what we know. We know we got a gold mine. That's why we gonna run with it. Oh, facts, facts. Sound like a great plan, bro. Like, oh, you know, yeah. um, all right, so, you know, we definitely gotta get up and do some more work sometime in the future, bro. You know, um, I wanna pop up, you know, some behind the scenes or something one day. We definitely get something in, bro. That's a fact. That we know? definitely we definitely gonna put some shit together. That's a fact, bro. You know that. That's a fact. You know, you were supposed to be at the other shit, but you know, it's a little situation yeah, little, that happened you with know you. How I go. Like, yeah, that's you know, life. That's life in general though. Back up. What's your IG and all that? Supreme underscore McGriff. S U P R E M E underscore M C G R I F F. Alright, bro. Supreme bro. underscore McGriff. Queen's yeah, finest. P two. Ah. They call me P two. My nigga Queen Slip gave me that name, by the way, like five years ago. My nigga Queen Slip. Shout out, shout out to him, P2. You was on Queen's Flip on podcast. That's a, that's a fact. That's my man. That's my nigga. Like, that's the I, first one I seen you on, I think. Yeah, that's a fact. That's, you know? yeah. Queen's Flip, yeah. And I was on Mikey, Mikey, Mikey TV too. Okay. My nigga Mikey T with Poor Car Radio. All right. Word. Okay. I fuck with, fuck with the boy Mikey TV. But yeah, y'all gonna be seeing a lot of me, man. 2020 and, and the years coming. Like, yeah. I'm like, I'm really about to take the world by storm. Like, I feel like it's my time right now. Like, mm -hmm. there's nothing else to do. Like, my time is right now. Like, God got me here for a reason, bro. Like, 2020 is really my time. Yeah, facts. Um, what's your relationship though with like you know? Cause everybody was saying Irv Gotti and Prem had a relationship. Yeah, they was right? like Prem. My pops was in his wedding. Like my pops was one of the groomsmen in his wedding. What's your relationship? You still got a relationship with Irv and him? Um, you know, it's, it's, it's all love. You feel me? But I never really had like a close knit relationship with Irv. Like mm -hmm. my relationship more so was with Chris. With Chris okay. Gotti, yeah, like okay, that, and, and yeah, that's more so who I was close knitted with. Like right. Chris, Chris been around me my whole entire life. Like he, he's an instrumental part in my life. <clears throat> like Ja, even my relationship with Ja, like I got a good relationship with Ja. Anytime I need to call him or whatever like that, like he don't never shun me. He always answers his phone. Like I got nothing but love for the whole Murder Inc. 
roster, like you feel me? Like right. everything is love, and they working on some big shit. They got a lot of shit going on. They got they documentaries. They got the Supreme Team movie that they doing. They got yeah, they doing everything. What yeah. about like you know? Can you tap in and they still fuck with you? Like if you need something, like can you hit them up? Be like yo. I yes. want you to do a little cameo I mean, I don't, on my drink. I, wait, like if I need something as far as like what you mean? Like I say, like, you know, like say if you doing a movie and you want somebody to play a cameo, little shorts. Well, yeah, no shit like that. I probably wouldn't even ask them though, but okay. yeah, I'm pretty sure they would. Okay. I'm pretty sure they would. What, what do you mean by you wouldn't ask them? Nah, like, I mean like, <laughs> like you feel me? Like I can, I can, there's other people in the world I can go to if I needed a favor. I don't got to necessarily go to them just because that's what everybody, oh, Prem and Irv Gotti was like this. So nah, they don't really owe me nothing. Like, like my dad tried to, he tried to instill that in me since I was younger. Like, nobody in the, in the world owes you shit. My friends, your friends, family, me, no, like, nobody own, owes you shit. You got to go out, do what you got to do for you. Like, don't look for no handouts. And at, at the time when I was younger, when he was telling me this shit, I, I couldn't really fathom and understand what he was meaning. Like, I, I used to be bitter about that shit. But now, me being older, like, I know, like, I got to go get it on my own. Niggas don't owe me nothing. I got to do what I got to do for me at the end of the day. Cause mm -hmm. they gonna be do for, they going to do what they got to do for them. And that's all about self-preservation. So, I learned that from a young age. Self-preservation is the best preservation. Right. Word. 50 Cent, now. You know, 50, you know, he got the songs, you know, from back before he even blew up. We talking about, you know, the old Queens legends. You yeah. know, your pop's name air came up. Yeah. Um... Do you think, like, what's, first of all, what's your 50 relationship? You I was at a, a, a Mob Deep listening party, like, in 2014, and he walked right by me. Like, we caught eye contact. He gave me a look. He just kept it pushing. At that time, I don't really know if he knew that was me or whatever, but I seen him, like, face to face. Should've popped on that nigga. Should've popped on that nigga. You bugging. He's out of the on the 50 a big nigga, man. He got man, a big. Shit, my nigga that was with me is big too. All right, all right. But, uh, <laughs> but nah, I really don't got no relationship with that nigga. Like he doing what he doing, I'm doing what I'm doing. Like you feel yeah. me? But you know, he a corny ass nigga. Though, at the end of the day, I Damn. just think he a super corny ass nigga. It don't matter. Like you feel me? That's my feelings on him, though. Nobody can't tell me nothing about no feelings I need to have on no next man. Y'all shouldn't be worried about how I feel about next man. Y'all niggas need to be worried about yourself. Don't worry about what I'm feeling about another nigga. Right, I right. just feel like he a corny-ass nigga. He talk on the dead. He talk about niggas in jail. That's some corny-ass shit to me, bro. That's some clown shit. And everybody always want to big him up because he got money or they think they gonna, that he going to put them in a position. That nigga's not putting nobody in no position, bro. He's the one of them niggas that self-preservation. He care about himself and he gonna jack himself. Mm. So everybody that think that they go, that he gonna help them or whatever, he's not helping y'all niggas. So y'all niggas need to stop sucking that nigga dick, bro. And that's point blank period. In lamest terms, get off that nigga dick because he don't fuck with y'all he don't like y'all niggas. He just wanna, you know, he just wanna attach himself to whatever. So he come through the hood and they'll let, man, fuck all that. We a corny ass nigga, bro. Damn. Alright, yo, um, you know, another um Queens legend passed away recently. Um Slim? Yeah, you know That's my Black big homie. Word? That's my big homie. Slim okay. is my big homie. Like okay. I have the utmost respect for Slim, for Chaz. God mm -hmm. rest the dead. That's my big homie. Like mm -hmm. he taught me a lot of shit too. That's one of the older guys that I was talking about that I used to be around and hang around and get jewels from. Like he taught me a lot. Another older guy that I'd be around. Man, I I, I miss I miss Slim, man. Like he I'm really miss Slim, man. It, it's crazy. Like it's mm -hmm. crazy how you could be here one day and go on the next day. That Damn. shit is crazy, man. Damn. But God rest his soul, though. Now, of course. Rest in peace, Chaz Williams, man. Yo, but um, yeah. Once again, man. Thanks, man, for coming out, man. We definitely no doubt, gonna get man. You know how I fuck with you, man. You, you know, know how we doing, we man. We got this a connection with my nigga Fadeback. Got us in connection and yeah. got us in contact and shit. But yeah, but you know how I fuck with you. I look. I seen some of your work. I fuck with you, man. So this shit ain't about nothing. This was all love with me, bro. That's a fact. It's all man. love, bro. We're definitely gonna get another but one. But yeah, make sure y'all niggas go cop the merch, though, man. Uh. Supreme Team merch. Uh. I'm in New York. I'm on deck. Hand to hand in them. Got how the they, site. How click, they could get? How they could get the merch? Click the click the link in my bio. S U P R E M E underscore M C G R I F F. Uh. Got the merch. Go to my page. The link in my bio is there. Right. I got red. I got yellow. I got blue. I got I got flavors for the Crips, I got flavors for the Lokes, I got flavors for the Grape Street Crips. Everybody, the Latin Kings, man. <laughs> my man. I'm fucking with everybody, man. Nah, I feel you. Southside Queens, get the money, man. P2, Mel TV, let's do it.